Yes, we are back. Round and around we go. Watch the fog and just grow, grow, grow. Spin your tails and stamp your trotters. Snort and squeal, you little routers. With our noxious fog and our little dance, these stupid humans won't stand a chance. Round and around and around we go. Watch the fog just grow and grow. The end is nigh for the villagers. When he dies, it'll be the death knell for. Hmm? What are you doing all the way up here? Are you lost or something? Father, it is you! You are not extinct after all! Uh, of course! Child from the village! But this is no place for children. You don't want to be eaten by monsters now, do you? You wouldn't be the first, you know. Yes, it's tragic, really. All these bones you see around here are remains of people who came up here and tried to defeat the monsters and clear the fog. They were gobbled up before they even had a chance. I still can't quite work out why mere humans would think they stand a chance against... I mean these vicious creatures! Father, why do you utter such things like this? You were with them, no? You came here with my parents to make battle with the fiends. Oh, yes, yes, a terrible business. Pay me so to watch my comrades picked off like that. But thanks to a higher power that guides me, I stood firm to the bitter end. In my desperation, I decided to plead with the monsters. You can have me, I said, but please leave my fellow villagers in peace. I offered them anything they wanted in return. They considered my offer, and finally said they would do as I asked, but only if I was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. To give up my human form. The monsters were impressed by my courage, and promised not to lay a finger on any of the villagers as long as I lived. And they have been as good as the word. Do you see? As long as the priest lives... The village will be safe. And how do I know this, you ask? Because it was I, the mighty Gasputin, who made that solemn vow. And now the paragon of virtue thought only of the good of his fellow man is about to die. And at the heads of the villagers he saved, no less. <laughs> Don't you just love it? I get to keep my promise, and he still gets torn from limb to, from limb. You humans are such towering imbeciles. I cannot wait to see those villagers kill the only thing protecting them from us. <laughs> I could have planned it better. Now we can just sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> I... But now that you have heard my details of my fiendish plot, I'm afraid I cannot let you live. So sorry that you will have to be not be around to witness the magnificent and no doubt messy deep monument. <laughs> yup, remember Rasputin? Meet Gasputin. Yeah, it's the pun on fucking Rasputin, you know the Leader of Russia, because this is a Russian place. Don't get it. Ooh, oh, fuck off. I'm trying to kill you. Yeah, fuck off, kid. You're dead. But how? How could mere humans defeat me? I knew I should have killed the priest when I had the chance. They killed Gasputin! They made minced meat out of him! Screw you, what are we gonna do? It's picking obvious, isn't it? 
Wait, we're not hogs of war! Marching around in circles and making fog is all we're good for. You're right, without Gas Putin here to save our bacon, we don't stand a chance. Come on, Chomp Chomp, let's get out of here! You did it! You achieved victory! I owe it to you a big thank you! The biggest! Now we must return to the village without a delay. Our true priest will fall at the hands of the villagers. Let's, let us go without haste. Behold, the maglet fog is clearing. Come, let's return to the village without delay. Without fog, it makes progress very much faster. Come, let's make haste. <laughs> this is the end for you, monster. We have ignited fire below you. Look inside your heart, fiend. Confess your sins to the all-powerful while you still have a chance. Admit that you murdered fellow villagers. Do not die in denial of your wrongdoings. This is for my son. You'll suffer as he suffered. Come, we must ignite flames out of the delay. Foul creature brought malignant fog and unspeakable tragedies to the village. We must purify it with a vicious fire. You, you are not so very frightening now. Hmm? Let's see... You fare when the things come hot. Hmm? Let's cremate the monster and disperse it to the ashes. Come, village. Let's unite it. Yes. Come on, elder. Fire without delay. As the village leader, the kill a monster. Yes. Come on, elder. Start fire. Start fire. This is a horrifying scene. We must make them cease. Please, to the cease. Do not ignite the priest. Luca. Can you really intend to make an interruption once again? Please heed me, Elder. This priest is no monster. He's a human turned to the monstrous form. What are you uttering, boy? How did you return from the village? Can this truly be a correct course of action? What? Oh, boy. Reverend Father! But how? You see? Is priest, as I told you, this was priest all along. We learned truth on top mountain. My friends here had heroic tale also. Priest sacrificed human form to save village. You all owe your lives to him, and behold, how he was rewarded. Luca, I am uncertain what to utter. Come, help me transport priest into church. Luca, please, you must understand me. I. You must aid me. I cannot shoulder him alone. I am without undying gratitude to you. Are you granting to me so? So very much assistance. Now Priest is asleep. He has so much bruises and bumps. He must have great pains. I am worried perhaps too many pains. Perhaps Priest may never open eyes again. But wait. Please watch over him in my absence. This priest should be very fucking familiar. Look, I am bringing it. It's the god statue of my... That statue is very similar, too. God's watch over the priest. I'm certain priest has done nothing bad. I know goddess will take care of him. I have faith in goddess, I believe. These two items are very fucking familiar. The priest is lying motionless. What do the villagers have to say for themselves? I'm still without understanding of how monster can be priest. You're innocent also. There is no mistake. That is our priest. Is it true what Lucas say to us? Other fiends have not sailed their village since time when this gruesome creature appeared among us? Have we perhaps made a terrible... Who is there? Ah, oh, it is you. I am very sorrowful. We owe you a sizable apology. Please explain all this that occurred. Ah, 
I... I comprehend. So monsters of Mount Gore are responsible for all misfortunes. It appears we have punished you, when in truth, we should have showered you with praises. I do not comprehend how to make... Rectify... Rectification for all our wrong-headedness. But we are able to at least make apologies to you and our priest. We will say our hope felt sorry for him first thing tomorrow morning. With that, I'll see you guys later. Peace! Stay grizzled.